has been made possible with the continued support of the Mercure Partners Affiliate Program. Hello, my iGaming friends, and welcome to another edition of APCW Perspectives. This week, I would like to try to have a normal show, you know, just a normal show without any pee pee smacks, without anybody bent over, without roasting anyone's chestnuts, just the news and information and, and a normal show. So, let's get started with several stories from Amaya Gaming, who may not be Amaya Gaming much longer. It seems that there are quite a few changes in store for the company, not the least of which is their intent to rebrand themselves as the STARS Group. They also plan to relocate their offices from Montreal to Toronto. And if that's not enough, they just announced two new board members this week. Maybe the new guys will uh, avoid being indicted. Hey! All right, you got me. That, that was a bit of a pee-pee smack. Made it almost two minutes into the show before that happened. Yeah. <clears throat> also, Amaya just made the final payment on their $200 million purchase of the Rationale Group to grab poker stars in full tilt. And their new CEO says that 2017 will be a transitional year for the company, perhaps even making additional acquisitions, all while holding over $2 billion in debt, mind you. Perhaps that's why a recent article on a popular stock market and financial analysis site said it's time to dump Amaya stock. You know, the exact same way their former CEO David Bezoff recently did. Come on, man. That that wasn't a that wasn't a real pee pee smack. That was that was just a, a tiny little a tiny little tap, just a, a light grazing, just a grazing of the pee pee. Oh well, whatever. I should also note that I am not a stock market expert, and anything reported on the show is for entertainment purposes only. Buy, sell, trade, ride, and swim at your own risk. Despite years of failed efforts to regulate online gambling in the Netherlands, the activity is still very much illegal there. They have an iGaming bill currently under review in their upper house of parliament, but as of yesterday, June 1st, the Dutch Gaming Authority is taking a much stronger approach towards operators who specifically target players in Holland. So. That's just a heads up. Maybe they'll be passing out some PP smacks of their own soon. Also, Paddy Power Betfair has announced plans to shut down their offices in Gibraltar. The company claims this move is for consolidation purposes following the merger and has nothing to do with Brexit. And I'm sure it has nothing to do with Gibraltar's recent defeat on their challenge to the UK point of consumption tax either. Also, speaking of the UK, the Gambling Commission there recently published a report on the nation's gaming activity covering a 12-month period between October 2015 to September 2016. The report shows that business is good up almost 3% and 
and that online gambling continues to grow. Just not as fast as land-based gambling. But hey, that's still good news, right? It means we have room to grow still. And that, my friends, wraps up what was supposed to be a normal show. Let's see, we had uh, news, sarcasm, a disclaimer, a couple of pee-pee smacks. So, uh, yeah, normal show. Nailed it. And, God willing, I'll be back next week to do it all again. I have a definite opinion on this. I don't care.